Every single aspect of our life has a similar opportunity in it. Every single aspect of our life is an opportunity for communion and creation, for coming together as be the beings that we are, beyond our culture. All creation is an act of communion. Think about it. Is there any creative act that you can think of that is not an, an act of communion, that doesn't have two entities coming together in a highly charged kind of way, sharing energy, sharing information, and then giving birth to something new that's being created? Where there's communion, there's a deepening experience of connection, experience of generation together, a deepening experience of love by whatever name you, you want to call it, kindness, care, interest, appreciation for other people. And then there's a deepening of the creative energy that we're holding together. To really hold the energy of creation it takes deep communion between people. It takes it to allow that energy of creation to deepen in our own experience, to create a center of creation between us and another person, to create some power, which is the power of creation. And across the planet, really, and most particularly in Western cultures and, and America in particular. The old structures of initiation aren't, aren't as strong as they've been because the old social structures are breaking down, are not as in place as they were once. For instance, the old family structure isn't all that it's been in the past for many families. Or the national structure we can see in many ways breaking down. It's just not working. It's not what's holding people together more and more. There's something else that is calling us together as human beings, but it transcends the social structures that we've been involved in. And I'm not trying to say that na nationality is passe or that family is passe or community or church or so many of the structures that we've been accustomed to. But I am saying that we find ourselves coming together in another reality that transcends all those structures. And the question becomes, who knows about that new reality and who's capable of bringing an initiation into that new reality? It seems to me we're, as humanity, we're not what we've been and we're not yet what we are becoming. We're in this no man's land, if you will, halfway in between. And there's so few that seem to know the way and, be, and are able to name the way and able to initiate in, in the new reality that we're moving into, I say, this world needs people who can initiate others into that. Into that. So that there can be the great love of creation that brings us together as humanity, as human beings. We're doing it together. And we're learning how to do the dance together. We're learning how to allow other people to be significant in our lives from a creative standpoint. And as we do that with each other, we're opening the door for great creativity, great communion, 